During the pandemic, it seemed like many companies were doing their best to support their staff in a situation that was difficult for everyone. Companies were organizing online webinars, allowing people to work from home. Companies were training managers to support their colleagues. They were offering free resources to support mental health and more. But now it seems like supporting employees for some companies has gone out the window. And this is detrimental to both the employer and the employee. In this video, we're going to look at how companies have slacked since the pandemic, but most importantly, the key things they can do to support their most valuable asset, their people. Now, if you're a leader, manager, or business owner, you should already know how important it is to ensure people are feeling happy, healthy, and supported in their job role. The frustration of unreliable staff, employees leaving, and unproductive people is something all businesses want to avoid. And supporting employees is a great way to avoid this. And I'll share some successful ways companies are doing this later. But first, let's look at what the data suggests since the pandemic. Now, according to this article, well-being levels among employees have decreased from 73% in 2020 to 66% just last year. This research looked at 30,000 employees across the UK and Europe and looked at five key elements of employee well-being which we're going to look at in this video. Now let's look at how these five elements have been impacted since the pandemic. One, managing the responsibilities between work and life can be a challenge for many employees. And according to Aviva, more workers have said they are attracted to their current role due to work-life balance rather than the salary. And this seems to be a priority that is switching since the pandemic. And almost nine out of 10 employees said that workplace benefits other than salary improve their overall happiness and they want to see improvements to their workplace benefits package over the next 12 months. Since the pandemic, employees seem to care a lot more about the balance between their work and their personal responsibilities. Now, if you want free resources to help support employees, join the mailing list. The link's in the description box and it's absolutely free. Now, work-life balance is one thing that has seemed to change since the pandemic, but the other four elements are just as important, if not more. Two, now within a job role, most employees want to feel supported. And according to people management, nine out of 10 employers have said staff need more well-being support since the pandemic. They surveyed 500 HR decision makers and found that 86% believed staff needed more health and well-being support since the pandemic. And that's why companies like us exist. A fifth of these HR decision makers also said they were worried about the physical health of staff, especially with the ongoing difficulties trying to get GP appointments. And although it was a difficult time for many, the pandemic highlighted how important supporting staff is, whether it's through EAPs, educational training, health and well-being resources, staff perks, or other initiatives, companies must continue to support their most valuable asset. And there's more ways to support staff. So let's look at the third point. One of the biggest reasons for employee stress is excessive workload. Highly stressed employees can lead to miserable people creating a bad workplace culture, which can result in increased staff turnover, more stress for others, and then business destruction. According to this article, about 82% of employees are at risk of burnout this year, but only half of employers design work with well-being in mind. Mercer's Global Talent Trend reports that 32% of employees say that workload that is too high or unsustainable is the reason for their lack of productivity. If excessive workload is causing stress, burnout and poor productivity, employers need to take action before it's too late. Find ways to make workload more manageable. Provide training on utilizing time more efficiently. Hire extra hands to help where necessary. Companies need to find ways that work for their business to avoid everyone getting sick and no one turning up to work. An excessive workload has seemed to be an issue both during the pandemic and post pandemic. Now, although excessive workload needs to be addressed and dealt with, people also need to feel valued and supported in their workplace. So let's look at the fourth point. Research from Gallup shows that having a best friend at work has become more important since the pandemic. 
Even considering the dramatic increase in remote and hybrid work, data showed that those with a best friend at work are significantly more likely to engage customers and internal partners, get more done in less time, support a safe workplace with fewer accidents and reliability, innovate and share ideas, and have fun whilst at work. Employee connection is vital for a healthy workplace. Now, it's not always easy for employees to make friends whilst at work, but companies can definitely do their part to help facilitate this. Whether it's organizing work socials, company events, team building workshops, employee resource groups, or other things, helping employees build connections can be a benefit to any organization. Building connections is a great way to support employee well-being, including employee mental health. But mental health in the workplace has changed since the pandemic. Let's look at the fifth point and see what the data suggests. The pandemic highlighted to us all how important our health is, including our mental health. And research suggests that employee mental health challenges still remain after the pandemic. According to the 2024 Voice of the Workplace report from Calm, seven out of 10 employees have said their mental health has stayed the same or worsened in the past year. And 61% have said they have felt down, depressed, or hopeless. And eight out of 10 employees have said they have struggled with nervousness, anxiousness, and stress. Data like this highlights just how important supporting employee mental health can be. Now, there are a range of ways companies can support their employees with their mental health and the other factors that I've mentioned throughout this video. But a great way to get started is by helping employees with a more positive and optimistic mindset. To find out the mindset shifts that stop people being miserable at work, you need to watch this video right here.